hello and welcome everyone to this uh, Jenkins session so in this session we will see how we can build Jenkins pipeline with the pipeline script from the SCM so I will show you a basic example how we can achieve this so previously in the previous sessions we have seen how we can use this pipeline script option and uh, here we have directly written our pipeline script in the Jenkins itself okay so what we can do is we can uh, write this uh, pipeline script in a file that is called as a Jenkins file and that we will keep in our SCM so that can be our GitLab or GitHub okay so we can we can check out that file from the GitHub or GitLab and then we can build that Jenkins pipeline okay so to do that uh, go to dashboard and let's, let's create a new item give some name to your pipeline and click on pipeline option and click on ok click on pipeline section so from this drop down this time we are going to use this option pipeline script from the SCM so here we will require two things one is SCM the URL of the project from the SCM and our Jenkins file path okay so you just need to create a Jenkins file which is just a text file and keep it as a root directory in your project in the SCM and that will uh, Jenkins will pick that file automatically okay so first go to the GitLab so let's create a project in the GitLab first so you can use the GitHub as well for this purpose so I'll click on new project create blank project give some name my test project and from the visibility level I will make it as a public okay so I don't want to initialize it with the readme so I will click on create a project so this is a blank project created in the GitLab so we need to create a Jenkins file first so just open any editor in your on your local machine I am using the notepad plus plus so just add your Jenkins pipeline script over here so I will copy it from our previous examples okay so this is our pipeline script containing the three stages build run automation and then deploy okay so we will build the project then we will run the automation and then we will deploy it on some server so now just show this file on your local machine so control s and uh, from the save as type you need to select all types okay make sure you select the all types over here and name that you need to give is Jenkins file okay click on save so now we need to upload this file from our local machine to our GitLab repository so I will go to the GitLab click on upload file click on upload now go to the location where you have stored that Jenkins file on the local machine select the file and click on open and click on upload file so that file is uploaded into our GitLab repository that is our remote repository okay so we just need to uh, check out this project from the GitLab to our Jenkins job and then that will uh, build this Jenkins file now just go back to the Jenkins job okay and here we need to provide the location of our git so repository URL so I will go here so URL you can get from the my test project click on that click on code and from here you can copy the clone which HTTPS link so same you need to paste in the repository URL so as this repository is a public repository Jenkins can access it okay and this repository contains our Jenkins file okay so we need to mention the branch from which we need to check out so in the GitLab we have the main branch we don't have the master branch okay so you need to provide the correct name here okay main branch so from the main branch we want the Jenkins file okay so we just created a Jenkins file on our local machine we saved it and then we uploaded it on our GitLab repository project okay so now we just need to click on apply and save so click on build now so Jenkins will first check out our project from the GitLab and then it will start the pipeline okay so from the console you can see our pipeline finished with success so let's click on the project again so here you can see the stage view 
so this is the first one check out from the SCM then build run automation deploy and this is the post actions okay so this contain build run automation and deploy so in the same it has executed build run automation and deploy okay so it is very useful to keep the Jenkins file in the SCM and check out from the SCM in the Jenkins you can easily edit this file over here okay you can review the changes if someone make changes in the pipeline Jenkins file you can easily uh, track that okay so instead of writing the script directly into the Jenkins pipeline you can uh, make a use of pipeline script from the SCM just create a Jenkins file and keep it in a SCM so that can be GitLab or GitHub